Oh, look at IGN going ahead saying some dumb shit again. IGN, just shut the fuck up. Imagine if you just woke up one day and all of a sudden you were in a world ending cataclysmic event where an infectious virus was taking over people's minds and turning people into infected, submerging the entire planet in chaos and violence, basically dooming the entire planet. And then imagine one day into that apocalypse, your daughter also gets shot. In The Last of Us, you play as Joel, a man who might be the unluckiest dude who ever existed. On the very first day of the apocalypse, his daughter died straight away, so you can really feel for this guy right off the bat. This game has a very emotional and very long story to tell, and it has to get you emotionally invested straight away, so it'll waste no time trying to hook you in. The Last of Us is a narrative about a man who has lost everything, and who has been stripped down to the darkest roots of his soul and become a monster, but who eventually finds another the reason to keep on fighting and the reason to keep on living. Joel has to take an annoying little bratty kid across the entire country because she happens to be the cure to the virus that's destroying the planet. On the surface, this is an unlikely duo type of story that we've seen a million times over with a generic apocalypse slapped on the back of it. But where The Last of Us sets itself apart is in its destroyed yet beautiful world and its sad but poetic storytelling. Joel as a character is a bit like my father after a couple of beers. He's angry and ready to inflict violence on anyone who stands in his way. By the time Joel first encounters Ellie, they are barely even friends and don't like one another whatsoever, but over the course of the game we see them slowly bond into a father and daughter-like relationship. They go through so much together and go through endless amounts of hell to try and complete this insurmountable task. Joel is a shell of a man who's deprived of all of his happiness, but over the course of the game, we see Ellie bring little increments of that fatherly love from Joel's past back into his life. Joel is just a man who's severely damaged after losing someone and is trying to recoup the small bits of humanity he still has left. I can really, really relate to this message. Choosing people is no easy task in life and can do irreparable damage to the human brain. But this game shows that no matter how much you lose in life, no matter how dark things look, there's always a reason to be happy and always another way to find love, even when you feel you've lost it. It's been 10 years since this game released and people still misunderstand it to this very day. Last of Us isn't some generic zombie game where you take a girl across the country because she's the cure to everything. The Last of Us is a story about a father who's trying to move on from irreversible damage. The world of The Last of Us is beautiful and full of so many little details. There is so much killing zombies and so much chaos and so much blood. But my favourite moments were just the quiet moments where you could stop and truly soak in the details of this dark but beautiful world. My favourite part of the game is when you get to play as Ellie. Towards the end of the game, our protagonist gets separated and we have to play as Ellie in a fight for survival on her own. Ellie no longer has Joel to protect her and has to fight for her own survival and hunt on her own. Joel and Ellie have been together for the entirety of the game up until this point, so them getting separated is a big deal. Ellie ends up getting captured by a group of murderous cannibals and has to do everything to try and escape and survive. Joel and Ellie go through so much over the course of the entire game. We see them grow as characters and learn to love one another in a world that's dark and bleak like this. The Last of Us is such an emotional joyride in which two people travel across an entire country with one another and go through hell to try and extract the cure from Ellie's body, which is why The Last of Us has the best ending in video game history. Joel learns that if the surgeons take the cure from Ellie's body and open her up in surgery, she will die. And like all fathers, he makes the ultimate choice for his daughter to try and save her. Joel gets to the very end of the game and realises he loves Ellie way too much to watch her die. So he storms the hospital, kills all the surgeons, and saving Ellie so that the surgery doesn't happen. And humanity never gets its cure. After the world took Joel's daughter and happiness away, made sure that no one was going to take Ellie from him. Made a choice that would not only doom all of humanity, but would lead to his own death. The Last of Us dares to ask the question, how far would a father go for his daughter? And the answer is too far. The Last of Us Part 1 is a certified hood classic. The number of confirmed deaths has passed 200. The governor has called a state of emergency. Hundreds and hundreds of bodies lining the streets. 
panic spread worldwide after a leaked report from the World Health Organization showed that the latest vaccination tests have failed. With the bureaucrats out of power, we can finally take the necessary steps. Los Angeles is now the latest city to be placed under martial law. All 